Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 63. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. I'm pretty sure Ferrari's owned by Fish Brothers, if I'm not mistaken. I read that somewhere. I can't remember where I read it. Why have I won? I really got to work it out. I might just have to ban myself from the Battle Royale. But I think it's cool that my car fights along with every other car. But the fact that, like, I keep winning it, it's pointless. So. Yeah, you got the Mark III Supra. Ooh. I actually do have to start thinking about, uh... What's it called? Next month's rewards. I've also, on my uh, time off, I've got to design my next merch drop. Drop number two. Because it will have then been three months since uh, drop one came out. Starting December. So obviously i got November to edit a new design. Whoa! We've got loads of people watching at the moment. Welcome everyone. Hopefully everyone's having a great day. Who are, feel free to uh, drop a like as it really does help support the channel. Helps with the YouTube algorithm. Not bad. Thoroughly enjoying driving this car, actually. This thing's unbelievable. Such a cool car. I'm so happy I picked it. And obviously we're moving on to the R1 events uh, in the next championship. I know it says it in the title, but uh, I didn't really want to put R2 and R1 because it meant I'd have to cut off some of the title because it was too long. So I'll just put R1. 
But we'll be moving on to them shortly. We'll be on them in eight minutes' time. Not too bad. We've got another two laps to go. I always find it weird that Forza uses um, the start line as the finish line in this game, as opposed to the actual finish line. I know it's strange. When you're looking at it from the perspective of... Uh, what's it called? Like mo most racetracks, their finish line is just after the final corner. They don't really count the main straight or anything like that. Like you look at Le Mans, the finish line is right, right after it. However, the start line is normally like the last car will start just before the finish line. And the first car will be a little bit further ahead. And this is slightly different. It's really strange because the amount of times I've gone around corners and it's like, oh, that's not the finish line. Because it throws me off. Because most other games, especially the Formula One games, for example, the finish line, like Suzuka, for example, you go around that long sweeping corner, the finish line is like pretty much after you finish that long final corner. Whereas for this game, it's slap bang in the middle of the straight, where the start line is. It's just really odd for like a motorsport game, for it to do that. When the real life track, like if you have a look around this corner now, you'll see on the ground, there is a finish line, right... Where is it? Here. So there's the finish line. And then here's the actual game's finish line. It's really strange. To be fair, that finish line was further along than I thought it would be. But, still. It's earlier at the end of the track than... Where the Motorsport 1 finishes. Just a bit odd. That's all. See, here's the issue. So the difficulty for this at the moment is on... It's either medium or hard. I want to say it's hard, but it might be medium. The issue that I have is the fact that if I turn it up... Because Forza has its typical... Forza-ness. I'm going to end up with races where they're impossible to do and I'll have to turn the AI back down. But the majority are too easy. 
Right, so we're back. We're up and running again. Uh, as of right now, I've lost 20 seconds. Uh, I've managed to get the ch controller plugged in. So, obviously, uh, if you haven't seen the YouTube short already, I posted a YouTube short of a live stream I did where the controller disconnected and it died about three or four times. Basically, the exact same thing has just happened. There's an issue with either the charge port or quite possibly the battery. Maybe the charge controller. It could be one of a multitude of things. Issue is, I ain't a fucking electrician. So I don't know what I'm doing. Long story short, it's happened too many times over the past few months that I believe this controller... I've had both of my PS5 controllers since I got them when I got the the console, okay? This one, I think, unfortunately... The, I mean, for three years, right? People that say the PS5 controller doesn't last, you're lying. This one's lasted me three years of, like, consistent use, using it on PC as well. Every time I game, I've used a controller. So I've gotten, like, we'll say an average of about three hours a day. A significant amount of time. On this one controller, especially on the PS5, I've gotten a load of time on it, so... I think I will have to buy a new controller. But that now that this one is, like, dead, gives me a chance to get one of the coloured ones, and it looks so cool. How much are the controllers? That's actually a good shout, because if the controllers are expensive, I'm going to cry. Like, I'm not even kidding. I'll, I'll shed a tear. Amazon. Because I need to order it today. There might actually be a sale on controllers. I'm not sure. Or will it be worth waiting till Black Friday? I might not be able to wait till Black Friday. Oh. Fuck. I fucked this one up. 57 quid. You are joking me. That's not... It's not genuine, is it? That is not a genuine PS5 controller. That can't... Fuck me, they're expensive. 78 quid for the purple one. Oh my god. The red one's 69. <laughs> nice. Game's probably got offers, like, if you get a controller and, like, PS Plus. You get it cheaper or something. Not bad. It's not so far. I still can't believe the controller just died. It just straight up stopped working. And it wouldn't charge. That gave me a literal heart attack. I thought I wouldn't be able to... Uh, what's it called? Do my stream for the rest of the day. 
so happy I got it working. I'm gonna f have to figure out what's wrong with it though. Either get it repaired or uh, what's it called? Get get a new one. I might just get a new one. Bum 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 ba da ba da bum ba na na ba na na ba na 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 na. Whoa! There's a lot of corner cut in there. Oh well. Two more laps. Oh my gosh, I'm shattered. I don't even know what I'm going to do for food. Genuinely haven't been feeling hungry. In fact, I know what I'm doing for food. I've got pizza. Oh no. I made a really bad decision yesterday because I was like, I'm hungry. I can't be bothered to cook because I've been like sleeping all day. Literally, yesterday I was 
having 45 minute sleeps every two hours. And every time I was awake, I was in that state of like, right, I'm waking up. I'm going to get out of bed. I couldn't get out of bed. I was proper ill, like fucking... What was it? Sunday, I was like... Coughing so violently. That I couldn't get any sleep. Like, I mean violent coughing. Like... I felt dead because of it. And then yesterday I was catching up on the sleep that I lost from Sunday. But I was still coughing really bad. And it was just... Uh, the past two days have been hell. Do you know, while this is working, and the way that this cable is, I, I ain't gonna unplug it. I'm gonna wait till Black Friday, see how cheap the controllers go. So then on Black Friday, I'll buy a, a what's it called? PlayStation controller. Do an unboxing and everything, it'll be so fun. Alright, nice. Right, lovely jubbly. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to have a look, because uh, I, I need a new controller then. I can't have this 41 constantly scaring the absolute living bejeebus out of me. See, it's not just me that crashes into other people, it's AI as well. Turn around the outside to the AI shit. Hit both sets of sausage curbs. Weaving back and forth. Do 
Do you know what? The, ante the antenna basically reminds me of like a giant I RC car. This is basically just a giant RC car. Let's be honest. There aren't race drivers in there. They're controlling it. One of those weird, wacky controller things. With a car tire on it. The controller guns with the tire and... No. That would be quite funny to watch. Yo, Alex, what up? Welcome, man. How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Having some lunch. Fair enough. Fair enough. What are you having for lunch? Because uh, my, my lunch today is uh, pizza. I guess cheesy roast spuds and a vegan curry thing. Interesting. Mix of food. Alright. Fair enough. How can a curry be vegan? Curries can't be vegan. How are they? You can't make a vegan curry without it tasting like Littoral sandpaper. How is... What? I need an explanation. Because curries, they all have like cream and whatnot in it. And that's what makes the flavour. I need explanations. I need answers. I need all that right now. I said right now. If you get that reference, then uh, GG's to you, I guess. Fuck me. Terrible corner. Not bad.
not bad. Let's see if we can get this lap under uh, four minutes. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it under four minutes. Cut to the corner. Still struggles to get it under four minutes. Fuck. Oh, uh, that's kind of funny though. <laughs> oh, let's try and get this a quick lap. Cuts the corner. <laughs> Fuck corners. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.